Hello, everyone. I'm Katherine Mortensen from Alec Public Affairs, and we are here at the States and Nation Policy Summit at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in downtown Washington, D.C., and I'm so thrilled today to be joined by Carrie Sheffield. Carrie is with the uh, America First Policy Institute. It is one of Washington's newest think tanks, and they're doing some fantastic, really innovative uh, policy initiatives, especially in the area of what states are doing. So that's what we want to talk to Carrie about, is you're a policy director at two of the uh, sort of centers within AFP. So Correct. tell me what you're doing there. Yes, thank you for having me, Catherine. It's great to be here. Um, and we love Alex, and we've got a strong presence here of um, a numerous of my colleagues are here for this event. Um, and yes, I'm the director of two policy centers. So I direct uh, the Center for the American Values, uh, which is our faith-based outreach. Uh, and then I also direct the Center for American Worker. And so uh, I can delve into what we're doing in, in both of those areas in the states. But you're totally right. You know, we like to look to the states. Um, we had an election where we're going to have a gridlock Congress. Uh, obviously, we are going to be interested at AFPI in the oversight function at the federal level, but we're very interested in the states where we can actually do some wins. Um, and so we're going to focus on, you know, we can't be all things to all people. We're not going to be in all 50 states. Uh, we're going to be really focused uh, narrowly on states where we, we know we can get some things over the finish line. States like Florida, states like Iowa, states like Kansas, um, where we have super majorities or um, or an executive plus plus the legislator uh, branch. And so, uh, so yeah, we're excited. So on the worker front, the Center for American Worker, um, our chair for that is Linda McMahon. Uh, and Linda was the uh, small business administrator, basically cabinet level official under the Trump administration focused on small business, um, labor, uh, making sure that our workers have the best policies. Uh, and so in the states, um, look ahead to 2023, we're going to be focused on occupational licensing reform. That's a huge issue for us. Yeah. Occupational licensing, there's so much regulation and red tape on workers. We're going to be fighting in the states to roll a lot of that back. Uh, we're also going to be uh, joined in the ESG fight. There's some great folks here at ALEC um, that are on that front. Uh, and so we're going to be working in the states for that as well. Uh, for my other policy center, the chair for that is Paula White. Uh, and Paula was the uh, director of faith outreach uh, in the Trump White House. And so we have just two weeks ago unveiled what we call a biblical framework. And it is uh, basically a, a, a framework to look at how policy, um, you know, across the board really is underpinned um, by uh, the Bible and how no matter what industry you're in or what sector or whatever policy you're developing, um, there is a best case scenario where you can really um, look to the Bible uh, for for guidance in terms of how, how, how should I be thinking about this? Obviously, we're not a theocracy. We're, you know, we, we have separate, um, uh, you know, entities in terms of, uh, you know, a church and, and the government. Um, but at the same time, the people who run the government um, are, you know, influenced by faith and culture and, and there are values. And so what we're going to be doing with this biblical framework is putting it in the hands of pastors uh, across these key states. Uh, and training the pastors and equipping them really with the language to understand how can I, because, you know, they, a lot of them have their parishioners will come and talk to these pastors and ask them, how do I grapple with, with, with a lot of these, these big topics? Um, things like critical race theory, uh, things like, uh, you know, it, destroying women's sports uh, or, you know, den denying biological reality when it comes to women's bodies versus men's bodies, things like that. So we're going to be uh, doing pastor trainings uh, across the country. So those are exactly um, some of the same topics that people here at ALEC will be discussing, our members here at States and National uh, Policy Summit. And one of the things I think we all know is that the focus really is, as you mentioned, Carrie, on the states right now. Because of the gridlock in Washington, D.C., they seem unable to really solve the nation's big problems. So more and more people are looking to the states for leadership. And it sounds like your policy institute is doing the same thing, saying, look, we want to equip the states with, you know, best practices, model policies, things that will really move the needle. Correct. Yes. Um, we're we're going to be releasing our model policy inventory, and it's going to be kind of a compilation of what we see across uh, these different states um, for some great legislation on things like occupational license, things, uh, things like uh, pro-life legislation of how you can uh, reduce the number of abortions in your state. So really giving those models. And then Alex does a, a great job yeah. uh, in this as well. So we're excited to, to work with you guys. Thank you so much, Carrie. And is there anything else you want to add? Um, anything you're looking forward to here at the Nation's Policy Summit? 
no, we're just really grateful to be here. Uh, and yes, as you said, we're kind of the new kid on the block, um, but we do have a lot of seasoned veterans who are on the team, uh, including numerous uh, former Trump cabinet officials. Um, so we're excited to kind of build a new thing, you know, to, to say that the America First agenda um, wasn't just a flash in the pan, that uh, our founder, Brooke Rollins, has what she calls our 100-year vision. Um, and so we're in it for the long haul, and we want to put America first. I always like to say the analogy of when you're on a plane, what do they say when the gas mask falls? You, you have to put your mask on first. And it doesn't yeah. mean that you're a xenophobic, you know, horrible, you know, you, you hate the world. It means first got to take care of yourself, and then you can be a blessing to the world. I think that's exactly right, and I love that analogy. Um, so thank you all for watching. We're here at the States and Nation Policy Summit, and I'm Catherine Mortensen with ALEC TV. And this is uh, Carrie Sheffield. And you can see on the screen, we have the America First Policy Institute. I would recommend that you go to their website. I'll put that screen up right now so you can see um, what they're doing there. They're, they're covering really every range of issues here. I'm on their, let's see, should I go to resources? No, priorities. Yes. They're looking at international affairs, environment, healthcare, immigration, Media bias, that's a huge one. Social issues and values, election integrity, criminal justice reform. So really they're covering the whole range of issues that I think Americans want addressed. We want to see those problems um, you know, solved, but this is not happening from Washington, DC. We're not getting the leadership no. from our nation's capital. So we, again, are looking to the states so thank you very much for watching and thank you, Carrie, for being with us today and being here at the States and Nation Policy Summit. Thank you.